Hi there everyone, welcome to another Aorus Wi-Fi battle. This was a good battle I had on my stream the other day, a uh, UU battle, and uh, this was um, a random assortment of uh, UU Pokemon, or, or under, that I decided to bring, and let's see how it went. Not too long this battle, but uh, he leads off with the Exploud, and I lead off with Swadloon. Swadloon, with Eviolite, has a surprising amount of bulk. However, it would not in a million years survive a fire attack. I was quite surprised to see Exploud lead off with that. Was not expecting it at all. So unfortunately, no sticky webs for this round. But I decide to bring in Malmar. He switches out into Clarissa, his uh, birdie. I'm able to get the superpower off, but as we all know, these birds are quite bulky, and it doesn't do too much. But here I decide to keep going for it anyway. Figure what's Clarissa really gonna wanna do to me. Luckily, it's not a Rocky Helmet one as well. So I go for another superpower, which, luckily, lucky for me, gets a critical hit. Pretty excellent, and Malmar's at uh, plus two now. But, goes for the Whirlwind, which effectively makes that a complete waste of time. Out into Titania, and here I figure this is a good matchup. No need for me to switch or anything, so I'll just go straight for the offensive mood. No, no. Actually, I figured he would switch out probably, so I decided to go for a wish, assuming he'd switch. But he stayed in. I went for Uta. Interesting play there. So away goes Clarissa, and out comes Queen, his own uh, Florgis. Here I figure I'll stay in, why the hell not, and go for a Moonblast. If I can lower that thing's special attack before it lowers mine, we should be fine. Fine. So, uh, apparently it has a very similar set to me. And, uh, goes for Wish itself. And I can see we both have leftovers. So I figure, keep going, we'll get another Moonblast off. My Titania is able to is much better than any other Titania I've met. We do get the special attack drop, which is great. And we can see it goes for a Moonblast of its own, which does substantial damage, thanks to a critical hit. And the wish comes true on their end. Here I figure, keep going. If I can lower its special attack again, the thing won't be a threat in the slightest. But he withdraws and switches out into his uh, Nido Queen. Actually, I decided to wish, because my health was a bit low. Silly me. I have a terrible memory. But in any case, not bad. I can switch out into anything now and uh, be alright. So yeah, I decide to switch out, and I bring in my Bertha, the Milotic. Should be able to take care of Nido Queen quite easily. Which, uh, surprisingly, goes for Stealth Rock. I was not expecting that, but no harm, no foul. Luckily, it doesn't have an electric move and switches out, while I decide to get a coil up. Switches into the Feraligator, which of course I can't really hurt, so... He pulls a double switch, while I decided to try and put the thing to sleep. I instead end up putting uh, Beats Dr. Dre to sleep. Beats by Dre, that's right. Here I figure, why not get up another coil? Nothing will be able to hurt me now. While Dr. Dre of course stays asleep. Here I decide to go for Hydro Pump, and this should do substantial damage. Which it does, it's a good two hit KO, and lucky for me he stays asleep. I go for another Hydro Pump, and that thing is finished. Now my, oppo my opponent now does some questionable plays. As they bring in the Nido Queen. I go straight for the Hydro Pump, which, no surprise, is able to one hit KO the thing. With a critical hit, which I don't think really mattered. But yep, down goes the Nido Queen. Not sure what my opponent was thinking. And surprise, surprise, in comes the Arcanine. Unfortunately for me, it doesn't have the uh, 
intimidate. But we see a uh, powerful wild charge there. Which, if I hadn't have got two coils up, probably would have done substantial damage. But I did, and I'm able to fire off the Hydro Pump, which of course one hit KOs it. So, in comes for Alligator again. And I decide, even with my defense boosts, I won't. Uh, there's not much I can really do to hit it back, and if it were to Dragon Dance on me, that would be a big worry. So I put the thing to sleep, get myself some leftovers recovery, and I decide to switch on out of here. It's a real shame considering I have two coils, but I go straight into Malamar, hoping uh, as long as I get one superpower off I should be able to do good damage. Unfortunately the thing wakes up on its second turn of sleep, and is able to one hit KO me with a credit. No, no, no. Is able to almost kill me, and then outspeed me and kill me. Sad day for Malamar. But here I decide switching to Meganium. Still, I don't know if the thing has Dragon Dance, but uh, can Meganium survive an Ice Punch? Luckily, Meganium's bulk allows it to live, and I'm able to get the Reflect off. Ref Considering this thing is a uh, physical attacker, Reflect is very useful for anything else I tried to bring in. So down goes Meganium, and I switch into Lucario. I know Lucario should be able to survive a waterfall now, but surprise he goes for Protect, while my Lucario decides to go for the Home Clause, boosting their attack and accuracy. I noticed that Lucario gets some powerful, inaccurate moves, so I decided to try it out. He withdraws, and I'm able to get... Well, he withdraws into Queen, his Florges, while I get a cross chop off. Which, with the critical hit there, does some substantial damage. However, another one may not kill if it doesn't crit, so I decide to switch it up and go for the Iron Tail. Both moves having 100% accuracy now that I got one home claws up. And down goes the Florges. In comes Clarissa. And here I decide I don't want any tricks, I want to just kill it. And I go for an extreme speed, which is enough to take it out. He decides to send back in for Alligator. Luckily the Reflect is still up. He goes for protect, protect, trying to outweight the... Uh, trying to outweight the Reflect here, but uh, it's not enough, and I'm able to get a cross jump off. He goes for the Waterfall, but luckily, thanks to the, the uh, Reflect, it does not do too much damage to me. Goes for Protect again, and since I don't know whether this one has Aqua Jet, I decide to go for the Extreme Speed. I think I should be able to kill it from this range, which luckily I do. And that was a brilliant bell. It was good to test out my Lucario and have it actually win. So yes, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.